Virtually every industry faces a class of computational problems known as combinatorial optimization. They represent some of the most valuable yet computationally challenging problems and are commonly found in supply chain optimization, logistics, AI, and data analytics. This video shows the difference between MEM computing's approach and one of today's most popular techniques for solving combinatorial optimization problems, the branch and bound algorithm. Let's start with the mathematical representation of a simple optimization problem with only four variables, x1, x2, x3, and x4. There are six clauses. The operators within each clause are a logical OR, and the operators between the clauses are a logical AND. We must solve for the variables such that all clauses equal 1. Commercial solvers use a technique called branch and bound. In branch and bound, a tree represents the relationship between each variable and its possible values. The algorithm then walks down sequentially the branches and tests each variable against the equation. And it does this one branch at a time. We start down the side where x1 equals 0. When we get to x4 equals 0, we find a conflict. We back up the tree and test for x4 equals 1, another conflict. We keep testing sequentially and find conflicts at x3 equals 1 and x2 equals 1. We then start down the other side where x1 equals 1, we hit a conflict when x2 equals 0. When x2 equals 1, we satisfy two more clauses. We actually find the solution when x3 equals 0, having solved all the clauses. This algorithm is smart, but it requires a brute force repetitive approach. In industry, these problems can have millions of variables. The number of steps required to solve these problems grows exponentially with the addition of each variable. That means that the compute time required grows exponentially as well. For example, let's look at a slightly larger tree with eight variables. Imagine how many steps are required to find the solution to this problem using the branch and bound approach. Now, let's explore how MEM computing would solve the same problem. MEM computing is not an algorithm, but instead represents an entirely new approach to computation. It's a new circuit architecture that harnesses concepts from physics to overcome the pitfalls and bottlenecks associated with our current computers, thus allowing us to solve these problems much more efficiently and accurately. Our virtual MEM computing machine configures itself into a circuit representing the mathematical equation. Each clause maps directly onto our proprietary self organizing logic gates, in this case, OR gates. Just like branch and bound, we solve for x1 through x4 when each clause equals 1. Before we go any further, let's see what's inside a self-organizing OR gate. First, we review a traditional OR gate. It has two inputs and one output, using two simple switching transistors to determine the correct output based on a truth table. Data only flows in one direction. Instead, with a MEM computing self-organizing OR gate, all the terminals are input and output, or I.O. MEM computing gates are bidirectional. We see a DCM or dynamic correcting module connected to each terminal. Each DCM is also connected to the other terminals so they can work together. Let's observe the behavior when the value of the top two I.O. terminals is zero and the bottom I.O. terminal is one. Since we are dealing with an OR gate, this is not logically acceptable. The DCMs work together to satisfy the logical OR by changing the value at the top I.O. terminals to one. The thing that sets MEM computing circuits apart from traditional digital circuits is that, like quantum circuits, MEM computing SOLCs take a form of spatial non-locality. Take the variable x2 that is associated with five logic gates. All the gates are connected at these nodes. The physics of Kirchhoff's circuit law and circuit theory tells us that when the asynchronous signals sent by DCMs meet at a node, they will be superimposed and redistributed. This creates a feedback mechanism of chain reactions where the DCMs send a signal in response to each signal they receive. All of this is happening at close to the speed of light. These chain reactions may seem chaotic. However, MEM computing harnesses the physics and maintains these reactions at the edge of chaos. These signals are felt nearly instantaneously by all the gates in the circuit, regardless of distance. This is true if the MEM computing circuit has six gates or six million. Unlike the sequential approach of the branch and bound algorithm, all gates in MEM computing are in tune and feel the changes throughout the system as they occur in a massively parallel way. This is known as the physics of spatial non-locality and is the main reason why MEM computing's performance is so groundbreaking. Now, let's show MEM computing in action. 
As with branch and bound, the initial values of x1 through x4 are 0. We insert a 1 into the traditional output terminals. Evaluating each gate, we see every gate is satisfied except the second to last gate. The DCMs at this gate react by forcing a signal back through the circuit aimed at changing the value of each x to 1 in order to satisfy all clauses. The other gates accept this, and we see that we have immediately reached the solution, as simple as that. In larger industrial problems, there are initially many unsatisfied gates which must come to agreement, and, as previously described, the circuit dynamics itself is designed to seek these solutions by leveraging physical principles. Depending on the input problem, the solution we reach will correspond to an efficient routing of vehicles or allocation of resources, for example. The goal of this demonstration was to show how efficient MEM computing is when solving combinatorial optimization problems compared to classical techniques. It is clear that a branch and bound solution applied to real world problems with millions of variables becomes exponentially complex and is extremely time consuming and inefficient. MEM computing, on the other hand, throws away traditional thinking and attacks a problem using an entirely new computing method. MEM computing solves the whole problem at once without considering variable by variable or piece by piece, regardless of size. It could be this simple example with six logic gates, or it could have tens of millions of logic gates. The larger and more complex the problem, the better MEM computing performs. Why settle for traditional solvers or wait for quantum computers when MEM computing is here today and is free to evaluate? Head to our website, register for an account, and start solving today.